Hi, so Jamf Teacher has updated its UI over the last few months and one of the latest updates to this is the lesson templates. One of the one of the really, really cool features that allows you to just launch that classroom management of iPad apps and websites in just a few taps. So if we go into our lesson templates, first of all, let's have a look at what's changed. So if I jump into one of my lessons, uh, straight away you'll see over here we have this really quick start menu. So big start button, ability to duplicate these. So if you are teaching something which kind of uses the same apps, but maybe you want to put different websites in or take out a few, easy enough to do. Uh, ability to share. This is something that is really, really helpful. Obviously, if you've got teachers that are less confident um, and you just want to create this for them, you can share it out so they can use it. Uh, ability to rename them, etc., delete them. And then something which is really, really useful is that where have I used this before? Um, so even you know, quick access to be able to just say, yeah, I'm going to play this in this group, done. So at this point now, if I want to start this uh, selection of restrictions and allowed apps, allowed websites, etc., I just need to tap start, choose my class and how long I want it to go for, and that's going to apply that straight away. So how about making these then? Well, you know, really, really simple approach. Create a new lesson template, give that a name in this case. Uh, let's just talk about the, I don't know, the water cycle maybe. Give it a description, usually beneficial to be able to know what your specific lesson template is about. Definitely if you're sharing them. And then you have that same access as you did before. So we have that ability to allow the specific apps that you want just by clicking on them. You know, maybe we're going to do some work which is going to be a little bit creative. Uh, we want students to be able to showcase their knowledge around this. So you can just add in those, those uh, applications that are going to be very, very useful for that and just apply those into that place. It's going to stick them into that group. And then add in those websites as well. So you may have some specific websites. You may specifically have... Um, some that you've collected. I'm just going to drag a couple in from here. Um, simple drag and drop, really, really easy. Just if you've got a collection of those websites, just add them into that section. Again, a tap apply on that. That's just going to have those on the page. So again, you can add additional ones to that should you need to. And then remember those restrictions are all there for specific things. Screenshots, screen recordings, probably very useful for this. Having a camera on, probably very useful. So I'm not actually going to change any of those, but useful to know that they exist. And that's done. At this point now, again, I just tap start, choose how long I want that to be applied for, choose the class I want to set it to, and it's going to send that out really, really quickly and easily. Once it's saved, it's in my saved section. So here's my water cycle one, and I have that ability to share that to uh, other groups, other teachers that might want to use it as well. So there we go. New lesson templates in Jamf Teacher, really, really helpful. Going to simplify that classroom management in just a few taps. And then remember, pair that with Apple Classroom to be able to then see what the students are doing in their lesson and interact with them when you can see their screens and be able to support them with their knowledge of what they're actually doing with the device.